Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alperona here again, and today I'm here for my breakdown on Overhaul V2, Kaichisaki Kai version 2. Um, I'm sure you guys have fought this guy online. I don't need to explain him that much. He zones pretty well. He has, like, crazy tracking projectiles, the ones that look like they're made of rocks. Um, he has this annoying move, which isn't a projectile, but it catches a lot of people. He obviously walks very slow, and that's probably one of his main weaknesses. But let's get into his buttons, because he's actually an interesting character, and I actually enjoy playing him. Sorry, anyone. Okay, so his regular attack string is this 5 hitting attack string, which is a, a lot of hits for a regular attack string, which means you can get extended combos, um, and you would usually cancel off of the 4th hit into other of his quirk buttons. You can even cancel it into his yellow attack to get some combos like this. But yeah, it's a good um, ground combo string, and he has basically the same, except it's in the air. When he's doing combos in the air, uh, it's five hits. You're not really gonna do the fifth hit that often. You're usually gonna cancel. Actually, for this one, you're usually gonna go up to the third because the fourth one sends the opponent a bit too far away. But yeah, his red attack is pretty average. It's probably one of his weaknesses as well. It doesn't have great range. It's not crazy fast. It's average speed. And but at least he can combo out of it. So you know he can use it as a red attack mix up. Okay, his yellow attack on the ground is kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, he gets the job done as a yellow attack, I guess. Like if if you need to do it as if you think the opponent's gonna attack you or something, you can use it as a counter because you know they have armor and stuff. But it doesn't reach very far. It doesn't have long yellow frames, and it doesn't do much on its own. You can combo off of it with his other quirk buttons, like, and you can combo into it. But that's the only thing you're ever really going to be using it for. Like, maybe if I'm doing a meterless combo, I'll do four hits into that, into this, and then that's pretty good damage for no dash cancels. Um, except you don't use it if you're going to do a long um, extended combo, because it actually scales his combos quite a bit. And yeah, they do a lot less damage if you put that in there at the beginning. His air yellow attack is pretty decent, you're usually going to use it after the third hit of his air attack string, and then cancel into whatever. And depending on what you want to do, but usually it's going to be into his tilt work one, because that's how he gets the damage. Or you can do some weird things with his quirk two or whatever, but essentially his air arm attack is just going to be for getting extra damage as well. And obviously, of course, it works well as a yellow attack, because you can combo off of it and stuff. Okay, so now, getting into his quirk buttons. His quirk 1 is a projectile. It's this single, like, skewer projectile. If I am over here and I just tap it, it won't go very far, it goes to about there. So, it's not a complete projectile, but if I hold it down, it will travel all the way until it reaches the opponent. And, yeah, it does a lot of damage for a projectile. It is really variable, so yeah, so sometimes it does like multiple hits, sometimes it just whacks them down. It really just depends on how it hits, and it's a very unusual projectile, being like a string of rocks that goes after the opponent. But it actually has very, very good tracking. So I, if I have the opponent on dash and stuff, so he's going to be running around. Like, get out of the corner. It actually, see, it curves towards the opponent, like, a lot. Like, it has crazy, crazy tracking on it. And even a lot of the time when the opponent's dashing, if they're not dashing completely, like, straight sideways, this is going to uh, catch them. So if they're trying to dash diagonally in on you or diagonally away, it's probably going to catch them. It's really good. And the air version is just as good, if not even better, at, um, at tracking. God, this is making me dizzy. <laughs> but essentially, yeah, even if your opponent is doing, like, dodges or sidesteps or something, it's very good at curving around and trying to hit the opponent. So if they're trying to walk around or do something... These demonstrations aren't being very good, but trust me, if your opponent's moving around or doing anything normal, yeah, I can make him into an AI. 
See, a lot of the time, and it's safe from this far away, a lot of the time if they're running away, it's just gonna hit them. It's a good projectile, it's safe from a distance, and yeah, I'm not doing a good job at demonstrating it. Um, you can get a combo off of it if you dash cancel. It looks like you can get a combo like normally, so, but if the opponent doesn't recover you can get a combo, but the recovery happens like right on where where your attack would hit, so if you want to get a combo I suggest dash cancelling. And a lot of the time if I'm throwing out this projectile, like from the air or something, I'll just be mashing the dash cancel button, because then if it does happen to hit, I can dash in, and a lot of the time you can get a combo, because the opponent isn't instantly recovering like this AI is. And then get some nice quick damage that way. And you may have noticed a lot of his combos are ending with a meteor blow, but that's actually good because a lot of his projectiles and things have slow start up, and like this is really slow. So once they're in a meteor blow, you have a lot of time in order to put up these slow projectiles. Um, anyways, yeah, now that we've talked about this move, which I think it looks really cool after you do um, four hits, because the opponent is like suspended in the air. Like that, I don't know, it, it looks kind of... It's very scary and overhaul-like, just holding them in the air with that, like, skewer. Anyways, this Tilt Quirk 1 is this move where he just, like, launches you in the air, then puts a bunch of rocks around you, and then they explode. And it's practically the same in the air, except he launches you to the ground, puts the rocks around you, and then they explode. So this is obviously his big damage, um, special quirk move thing. You always do it after 4 hits, cancel into that, even that on its own is a lot of damage, but you can dash cancel into a combo like this, and end with it again, and then you've gotten big damage for a very super easy combo, so you're always going to be able, as long as you have a single dash cancel, you can always get damage that is really decent, like it's almost 10,000 damage. Just for doing some hits into a special, and then dash cancelling and doing some hits into an arm move into special. So, very easy damage. Um, even meterless, you can get really good damage using this move. And if you don't want to, um, something I do a lot is I actually save my um, my dash cancels so I can do plus ultras or something. So a lot of the time I will just leave this here because it leaves the opponent. In like very high in the air, so there's not too much they can do. They're not going to instantly be attacking you or blocking anything you do. So a lot of the time, I jump in the air and then start doing his projectiles, which are really likely to catch the opponent, especially this Quark 2 one in the air. It has crazy tracking, so even if they are like sidestep or something, it's probably going to hit them. But yeah, a lot of the time, you don't even need to do a dash cancel after this. You just have the opportunity to go in for his projectiles then, I could go in for the other one, or like do whatever. I could even stay on the ground and go for this one, and then when if they recover on top of me, wait, I walk a bit backwards for this one. Oh yeah. Usually they don't recover in such a weird direction if it's a normal opponent. And then they land on this, and then there's not much they can do unless they just guard, and yeah. So I kind of use it as a setup tool a lot if I don't feel like going for the, using a dash cancel for the full combo. Um, this move it can also be used for um, like to place on the ground. It's very unsafe if you whiff it or if they block it because you see I can I'm holding down the block button and he can't block until then. But sometimes you can catch your opponent out. They go to punish you, then the rock explodes or something. So just you know adding a few little extra mind tricks. Also you can um. Like, if you don't want to do the dash cancel like I was before, you can just jump into the air and dash up to the opponent, and because they're probably going to be... Oh. Like, doing jumps in the air and stuff and trying to press buttons, they're not going to fall down instantly. What am I doing? And you you can usually get a combo after they recover because they're not expecting you to run up at them because you've, you've probably done projectiles or something the last time so they're going to be like trying to get and like sidestepping or whatever so you can just charge up and then do an air combo after their recovery. That wasn't optimal, but you get the point. Um, yeah, 
that's his qu Tilt Quirk 1. So now for his Quirk 2, is this one. Probably version 2 overhauls most iconic move. It looks really awesome, I love it so much. And it does tons of hits. You can mash it for even more hits, so if I just press it normally, it won't actually last for that long. Yeah. And it doesn't do that much damage. If I mash the button, like, a lot, it'll do more hits and some more damage. And this move is kind of more of like a, a spacing and respect tool. It's not a projectile, because like even from here I think it misses, like about this distance. Oh no, I'm wrong. Wait. Here? Like it doesn't actually projectile the opponent out, but it does have really, really good tracking. So if I put the opponent onto dash, see they're gonna follow after the opponent like so much. And if my, if my opponent wasn't like literally running circles around me, there, look, they make a slight hesitation and this is catching them. And it's also safe on block, I believe. It's extremely hard to punish. And because there's also so many hits. Oh my god, did you see that? It still caught him when he was behind me with a single one of the hits. So yeah, it has really good tracking. And it basically just makes the opponent really scared to come towards you. Because there's just so many hits coming out, it's almost like a force field. Because if they come near you, one of those rock spike tentacle things is gonna come and, yeah, make the whole thing hit. You can combo into it from his yellow attack to make a cool looking combo like this. I do this sometimes just for fun. It's not high damage for a meterless combo that he can do, but it still looks cool. And Coolness is important. On block, I usually do that as well. Obviously there's some gaps here that if the opponent's respecting you, you can go into this on block. And then it breaks their guard, and then you get to go in for your full combo. And yeah, if they if you think they're gonna sidestep, because there's some gaps like in his third and fourth hit, like in between this one here and then there. So if you think they're gonna try and sidestep, you can like cancel into this, and then it'll catch them trying to. I, uh, can I show this? Three, and then I'm gonna get him to dodge. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it it, it works a lot of the time. And see, like they try to sidestep, and then it, they get punished in a really weird way. It's just a really good move for like catching the opponent try to move or do anything near you, even though it's really slow in startup. So you have to be careful where you use it. You can't just be like running around around here and then just decide to use it because your opponent is going to interrupt it for sure, because it's not that fast. So you have to be very calculative as to when you use it, whether you use it in a block string, where you think they're going to do a sidestep or something, or you can use it after you've done your combo and it ends in a meteor, bl in, uh, meteor blow. Sorry. So my opponent was meteor blow, so I know he's going to be on the ground for a bit, so I can start this up and that he has no chance of punishing me. Or if I think he's going to try and run in or something, I can put this out just to make him scared of running at me. It, it's a really cool move, I like it a lot. Okay, now for his Tilt Quirk 2. Um, by the way, oh yeah, I'll stay on his Quirk 2 for a second. Um, his Air version, he can't do the Rapid Strikes, but it has this version, which is really, really good. Crazy tracking, it does a lot of damage, you saw there, almost 5,000 damage for one projectile. See, Bakugo is running around, this is still catching him. Is that not ridiculous to you? So like, your opponent could be dashing as much as you want, but if they decide to not block for a second, they're gonna be hit by this 5,000 damage projectile. Like, it's crazy, it does so much damage. You... Like, what? And after they get hit by that one, they're left in the air, unless they decide to not recover. And then you can go for this one, and then they're probably gonna get caught by that, and yeah, this is just where his zoning gets really crazy, so they decide to recover, and they're probably gonna hit, get hit by your block one after that. And then you're, if you're on the ground, then you can go for this. And yeah, he just has really... His projectiles have such good tracking, and they do a lot of damage. It's just really scary. And like I said before, I often do that, um... Air Quirk 2. If I jump into the air after doing his combo starter. Because then I've gotten... 6,700 damage on top of 2,000... Sometimes it does 4,000 damage. And then you've, like, gotten an easy... <laughs> Easy 10,000 damage that didn't cost you like any dash cancels or anything. And you're, after you've hit all that, you're quite a distance away, so you've gotten a 10,000 damage like reset combo, and you're able to go in for all of your crazy projectiles again. So yeah, really scary stuff. Okay, 
is Tilt Quirk 2 is this red move, and not only is it really good because it leads into combos, it is really good because just like all of his other moves, it is crazy tracking. So Buck goes running around me, you see? Did you see that? It curves. It's a red move that catches a, an opponent running around. So if your opponent is doing anything, like, and it's a red attack, so there's not even that much they can do to, like, avoid it, except going in the air, or doing a sidestep at the perfect moment. But it tracks your opponent so much, it's really, really a scary red move. And as you can see, it has really good distance. So a lot of the time, I use this red attack, like, all the time over my other red attack. It's, it's so good, it leads into a combo, it does more damage than the other red attack. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. You get 11,000 damage from it if you do your combo afterwards. So, yeah, highly damaging. Even if the opponent is on dodge, a lot of the time I'm going to catch them. <laughs> See, even from that distance where he dashed backwards, I was still able to run up to him and catch him with that. It's ridiculous! That's like almost a full screen grab. See that? I started it up, he sidestepped, and it still went after him. So it's not even if they, like, dash to start up. See, that still tracked him. It was on a dodge. Now this, I feel like, is a bit overpowered. Like, that's not a bit. That's a very overpowered. You shouldn't be able to catch someone with your red attack if they sidestep. I think that's quite ridiculous. So he sidesteps, I do this. He sees the red attack, he sidesteps, but this still hits him. Is that just not a little bit crazy to anyone? Like, who designed this move and, like, gave it this crazy tracking? It's kind of ridiculous. And anyways, yeah, as you saw, you can get combos off of it, and now that we're done with all of his buttons, we can go into his combos. So, um, actually I'll quickly show his plus ultra one. And it is a pretty interesting plus ultra one. So it does a little bit below average damage, or actually quite a bit below average damage. Some plus ultras do 10,000 or 7,000 damage, whereas his only does 6,000. But damage isn't where it prevails. As you saw, he had like these green effects happening on him. And I'm not sure if I can take my health down. Um, but essentially, um, it heals him. It heals him like... I don't know, for about 500 or 5,000 damage. So about the chunk of, um, if you see the letters of plus ultra, it probably is the LTRA amount of health. So it's a decent amount of regeneration after he does his plus ultra. So if I do a combo like this, and the main way you're going to be comboing into it is just from his regular attack string, because then it connects most consistently. You're getting 12,000 damage, which is a big chunk of damage, and it's unbreakable. And you've just gotten about five or 7,000 damage back, which basically like removes a small combo that the opponent has done on you. So it's really good for that. I really like it for um for comebacks. And it's the only move like this in the game. I don't know of anything else that heals you in the game. There's no recovery girl here. So yeah, if you're like really low on health and you want to make a comeback, a lot of the time I'll cancel into this earlier than I normally would, just to make sure I get... It gives you a big chunk of damage and brings your life back, so it's like the perfect comeback recipe, giving you some more life and taking away a lot of theirs. Like if they have support, you can cancel it early, and you're still gonna get a nice decent chunk of damage. Um, you might see people doing, trying to do some fancy combos, like something like this. Because you can cancel it after the tilt work one in the air because it brings you down to the ground. But I find a lot of the time it's not that reliable and you end up getting a lot less damage than if you just did a regular attack string. Like, even if I do something... Like, a lot of the time I found <laughs> in going into training mode, the best way of comboing into it is just by doing your regular attack string. None of these fancy combos into stuff. See, like, it can do good damage, but if you're gonna combo into it... Yeah, a lot of the time, and then that, that Meteor Blow as well. So, yeah, it's just not that reliable. Do a regular attack string, and you're getting, like, 11,000 damage, don't complain, and you're healing. But anyways, now let's get into his combos. So, Version 2 overhaul isn't crazy combo heavy, as you can expect since he is such a good Zona, and he has other really good tools, but he still has really good combos, like this bread and butter that I already showed you. 
does uh, 9,800, so nearly 10,000 damage. So he is very, very acceptable damage. That's about, you know, average, maybe a little bit above for a single dash cancel, and that's really good. And it ends in a meteor blow, which is really good for him because a lot of his moves are quite slow. That means you can, like, jump away, gives him time to, like, make space, get up his projectiles, start zoning the opponent out, and just being the nuisance that everyone loves to fight against online. So, the combo is 4 hits, into tilt quirk 1, dash cancel, 3 hits, into armor move, into tilt quirk 1 again, you'll end in a meteor blow, either the opponent will be like stuck in the corner with you, and that's actually really good if the opponent's stuck in the corner with you, because then, because then you can like put up your traps and there's nowhere for them to go. But it's also really good if they get launched far away, because then you have the opportunity. <laughs> I should have walked away a little bit before I start this, because then you're in this like weird area where some of it isn't going to hit, some of it isn't. But even if it does the meteor blow and it... and you've got the meteor blow at the end of the combo, and they've like launched far away, because that's what happens most of the time, unless I'm demonstrating. <laughs> Of course it isn't gonna happen now, but a lot of the time they like bounce off of the wall. And then they end up really far away, so you can start up your projectiles like that, or they're sent far away so you can start this one, and like jump into the air and get into the perfect like angle to throw this at your opponent. And then obviously from there you can go into that, and then you dash up, you know, do something else, do this one again, and then this, and then down, get down onto the ground with this. And then while they're on the ground for a bit, you can start up this move. And it's just... He's, he's a big snowball effect character. He, if he gets the right hits and he does the right stuff, he can go into the combos. He doesn't even need to do a reset. Anyways, um, yeah. So if you're not doing this bread and butter combo... So yeah, bread and butter combo. Something like this. That does the most damage. Extending it actually makes it do less damage, like if you try to add in yellow attacks or something, it makes it less damage. That's the most damage he can get, I'm pretty sure. It's all I've found. Um, but a lot of the time you're not actually... Like, if you don't want to, you don't have to spend a dash cancel to get his good damage. So, and if you're not... Oops. <laughs> if you're not going to do a dash cancel, I would suggest putting in the yellow attack here, then you get a little bit more damage. A lot of the time I just jump into the air and do this move, and then do like this move, and then... He, yeah, like, a lot of the time there isn't actually a need to do the dash cancel, so if I jump, just jump forwards because they get launched behind me, and then I have huge distance, they're in the air, so then they can't block these crazy tracking projectiles, so I'm almost guaranteed to get... After this 6,000 damage, I'm almost guaranteed to get this projectile, which can usually do like 5,000 damage. Uh, depending on how, how it hits the opponent. And then you've gotten like 11,000 damage without a dash cancel, which is pretty crazy. So, yeah. Jump around, make sure you, you know, you can do different setups. Sometimes that move even wall splats like you just saw then. So you can go in, pull the thing again, and then you've just gotten tons of damage if they get hit by this again. Then you've gotten so much damage without dash cancels just because you've been like doing resets off of the regular combo string instead of doing a dash cancel. So, really strong stuff from Overhaul. Um, the same can be said if he, he can decide to not jump into the air, and instead he goes to where the opponent's gonna land, and then you do the tilt quirk too, I mean the regular quirk too, and then it catches them trying to go onto the ground or press any buttons, because the quirk too, as I explained before, it does a ton of hits, it has, it's just, it has crazy tracking, oh, unless you're like right here looking at it, but yeah, it's a crazy move. If they're in the air, they have to just guard in order to get out of the way of it. Or maybe they try and do some like lo a lot of dashes in order to like escape from it. But a lot of the time, they're not going to be able to escape from this damage. And then you're taking an extra five thousand or six thousand damage just because they didn't manage to um, escape your fake combo correctly. So yeah, very strong stuff. Even if they're not real combos, you can get tons of damage with Overhaul. And obviously all of his combos, the damage can be increased if you add this red attack at the beginning. Um, sometimes you have to reduce the combo a little bit by like removing yellow attacks or something, because the Meteor Blow will happen earlier. 
And then, yeah, you're getting big damage, 11,000, just for getting a red attack that tracks the opponent, like, literally to hell and goes across the screen. And obviously you can do it, like, using your supports. As the unblockable mix-ups that everyone loves to use online. And then, yeah, that was gonna be a lot of damage if I didn't mess it up. Oops, oops. Twelve thousand damage just because you did an unblockable mix up with Rafa, and Rafa was nearly back at the end, so it's like you didn't even use him. Um, I've got regular Shigaraki in here as well, just because you know having more screen control. If I dash up and put him out. Can get combos that way, or no, I can't. <laughs> but a lot of the time, I you know dash around, put Shigaraki's puddle on the ground. If I see them get hit by it, and get a combo from it, or you know, just put it out, control the screen, be scary. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's about all I have for his combos. If I'm comboing into the plus ultra one, usually I'll do like if I get that red attack, I just do his full attack string into the plus ultra one. This applies for plus ultra two as well. And there you go, 12,500 damage, and I've just take, um, gained a lot of health back, I've healed a lot, so it's worth a lot more than 12,500 damage, it's really, really good combo. Um, if you're gonna do your plus ultra 2, that's where you can actually do some of these like fancy things, so if I'm going like... I think this works. Yeah. So if you use your tilt work one at the end of any combo in the air, you're probably going to be able to confirm into his plus ultra too. For some really high decent damage. Oh god, that scream is so stupid. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say um, for Overhaul version 2, which I, I just realized I have been talking about him for a while. But yeah, you can also get like combos off of this move, you know, obviously if you do dash cancels. But I think where he excels is not in doing combos, obviously, since he's such a zoning character. He can obviously get good damage, he has a 10,000 damage combo that's super easy. So if you do want to end out the round and just like be sure and your opponent doesn't have supports, you can take the assured damage. So it's good that he has access to that, but he also has access to these amazing projectiles that he can use as resets in his combos. He can like link them into each other like this, and then yeah, they have crazy tracking, there's no way for the opponent to escape. And basically the opponent's just gonna be like really scared to fight you. If you're better than me, you can actually combo off of his work too or whatever, but I haven't really practiced with that. But yeah, he's a really strong character, he's very unique, I like that... Uh, I'm sorry for saying that I like him, but I do, I enjoy playing as him. Because he's very slow, and he has really interesting projectiles, like, even though they're annoying and they track a lot, and they're hard to counter, he can be quite slow, so a lot of the time how you beat version 2 overhaul is you just go gung-ho, run in, do armor moves or whatever, you just need to keep attacking him, don't give him time to start this crazy attack or any of these other things. Anyways guys, that's about all I have to say for version 2 overhaul, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one, bye!